Hey, I'm Freddie Carter. I play Kaz Brecker in Shadow and Bone, and you're watching Hollywire. Well, happy premiere day. Thank you, you guys, so much. This is your first red carpet premiere for the show. You didn't get to have one for the first season. Yeah. So what's it like to properly celebrate, and what are you most excited about for tonight? It feels just like that. It feels like the culmination of two seasons worth of joy and excitement. Mm -hmm. And you know, this we haven't. A lot of us haven't seen each other for quite a few months, so it feels like a big, exciting reunion. And to get to do it here at Netflix feels very exciting. Well, you guys are all so close, so I'm sure it's extra exciting to spend time together. I know your role has a lot of physical demands. So how did you prepare for something like that? Uh, <laughs> I had to go to go to the gym for all the action stuff and I worked with the stunt team and they, they were great because they really wanted to make any any fight sequences that we had really character driven you know it was very important to them that it felt like our character was doing those things rather than just sort of some cool choreography right right so you said you went to the gym I mean what's the training like was it like Hardcore sweat sesh or oh, a hardcore sweat sesh. Okay. Yeah, sweat sesh. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of a tongue twister. I should have twister. thrown that one at you. No, it's good. Okay, so if you were a uh, Grisha, what would you uh, want your power to be? I think it'd probably be a summoner. Okay. Because uh, yeah, it's nice, nice when it's bright and sunny. So mm -hmm. yeah, be a sun summoner. Okay. I know this cast is really celebrates so much diversity. How do you think this representation impacts audiences and uh, the show? I think it's so important, especially in the fantasy genre. You know, um, people of color and queer people are hugely underrepresented historically. And I think I'm very proud to be a part of a show that from the top down, you know, our showrunners put together a writer's room that really represents the characters that they were going to be putting on screen. So I know that for the people of color and the queer people in the show, they feel like their voices are being properly represented by people. And um, it's just a really important thing. Okay, my last question for you is going to be um, how, I, I, whatever you can tell us will be fine, but how has Kaz's character evolved from season one and season two? Ooh, it's a good question. I'm, I, I'm hoping that uh, people are going to have, by the, end of, by the end of season two, people are going to have a much better idea of why Kaz is the way he is. You know, we're going to see some stuff from his past that's going to explain why he's quite so hard on people and why he's quite so grumpy and why he has this armor up all the time. Um, so I'm excited for people to figure that out. I'm excited to see Great. it. Thank you so much for chatting with Thank us and so congratulations. Much.